Hi. No, me? No. I'm not doing anything this afternoon. Me? What am I doing this afternoon? Noth nothing. I'm not doing anything this afternoon. You? No. You're not doing anything this afternoon either? No. And Maria? I don't know. Maria, are you doing anything this afternoon? No. She's not doing anything this afternoon. And Pedro? Pedro? Ah, wait. Pedro? Uh, are you doing anything this afternoon? No? Nothing? No. Pedro's not doing anything this afternoon. And uh, Juan and Maria. Juan, Maria, are you doing anything this afternoon? No? They're not doing anything this afternoon. My God. Nobody is doing anything this afternoon. I'm not doing anything. You're not doing anything. He's not doing anything. She's not doing anything. They're not doing anything. Nothing. Hola y bienvenidos a la clase número 49 del nivel básico. Tenemos una frase llena de cosas para, para, para hablar hoy. He's not doing anything this afternoon. He's not doing anything this afternoon. Él no está haciendo nada esta tarde. Entonces, vamos a centrarnos en esta primera parte. He's not doing. He's not doing. Él no está haciendo o él no hace. So, voy a ponerte a prueba con algunos verbos más. Por ejemplo, él no está buscándolo. Él no está buscándolo. ¿Recuerdas cómo te decía buscar en inglés? A ver. He's not looking for it. He's not looking for it. Muy bien. He's not looking for it. Ok, otra cosa. Um, él no está mirándome. Él no está mirándome. ¿Cómo se dice esto? He's not looking at me. También se puede decir he isn't. Pero uh, um, ahora vamos a centrarnos en he's not. So he's not looking at me. He's not looking at me. Ok, otro. Él no está viendo la televisión. A ver. He's not watching TV. He's not watching TV. Excelente. Muy bien. Hola. Pues hoy voy a enseñarle un baile de mi país. América. S.O.S. A ver. Ready? Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Let's see if you can do this. Ok. No, 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 no. You're not doing it right. What? He's not doing it right. It's like this. Okay. Ugh, no, he's not doing it right. What? Fíjate, no decimos he doesn't do it right, sino he's not doing it right. Otra vez, he's not doing it right. Come on. You're not doing it right, man. Okay, one more, one more dance. Okay. <laughs> He's not doing it right. What? But I, oh. oh, this is ridiculous. He's angry because he's not doing it right. Mr. Strong, Mr. Strong, come back. Oh. Okay, in this second part, we're going to see one word, anything. So, he's not doing Anything significa él no está haciendo nada. Fíjate, no podemos usar nothing aquí, ¿ya? Yeah? Porque la, la traducción literal de nada es nothing. Pero, ¿por qué en la primera parte tenemos not, una negación? En inglés no podemos repetir una negación. So, he's not doing anything. No podemos decir, bajo ninguna circunstancia, he's not doing nothing. He's not... Doing nothing significaría que está haciendo algo. No sé si se entiende esto, pero... He's not doing anything. Decimos literalmente, él no está haciendo algo. Suena un poco raro en español, pero en inglés perfectamente. ¿eh? He's not doing anything. Vamos a cambiar de persona gramatical. ¿Cómo se dice? Ellos no están haciendo nada. Bien. They're not doing anything. They're not doing anything. Y no estamos haciendo nada. We're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. Not we're not doing nothing. We're not doing anything. Muy bien. Perfecto. 
Hola, hoy os voy a enseñar mi detergente porque es maravilloso y es que lo tenéis que comprar porque vais a ver cómo funciona. Mira que tengo estos dos platos sucios. Mira, pone los, los dos dicen lo mismo. They say the same thing. He's not doing nothing tomorrow. Y el otro lo dice también. He's not doing nothing tomorrow. Esto está sucio, sucio, sucio. Vamos a ver si se queda limpio con mi detergente. Y, y lo vais a ver, a ver. ¿Este está limpio? No, claro que no. Of course it's not clean. But this one, it's perfect. It's so clean. In the bin. He's not doing anything tomorrow. Fíjate, he's not doing anything. Anything tomorrow. No decimos he's not doing nothing. Decimos he's not doing anything tomorrow. ¿Veis que limpio se ha quedado? Vamos a terminar esta clase con this afternoon. This afternoon es esta tarde, a primera hora. Okay, so, he's not doing anything this afternoon, entero es, él no está haciendo nada esta tarde, a la primera hora. Porque tenemos dos palabras para tarde. Afternoon, que es desde la una hasta las cinco o seis, y evening, evening, que es un poco más tarde, desde las cinco o seis hasta las ocho o nueve, okay? So, Afternoon, evening. Más, adelan más adelante vamos a ver evening, pero ahora afternoon. So, ¿cómo se dice? Él no está haciendo nada esta tarde. He's not doing anything this afternoon. ¿Cómo decimos ella no está haciendo nada esta tarde? She's not doing anything this afternoon. This afternoon. Fíjate cómo enlazamos estas dos palabras. This afternoon. This afternoon. Y nuestra palabra del día es basket, basket, que significa cesta. Perfecto, muy bien. A ver quién es, a ver quién es. Hello. Oh, hi, Michelle. Si hago algo esta tarde, am I doing anything this afternoon? This afternoon, this afternoon. Oh, esta tarde de trabajo. I'm working this afternoon. Ok, bye. ¿Qué se le va a hacer? Hello. Que si el señor Pilgrim, Mr. Pilgrim, tiene un hueco esta tarde. Mm, this afternoon, this afternoon. This afternoon. Pero ¿dónde están aquí las páginas de this afternoon? Por cierto, dilo tú. This afternoon. Así larguito. Very good, this afternoon. Ah, I'm looking at the wrong pages. This afternoon, de 12 a 6, más o menos, ¿no? Pues entonces, aquí está. Ay, pues no hace nada, Mr. Pilgrim. Hello, um, he's not doing anything this afternoon. Hello? Two very important expressions. I can't wait. Means estoy esperando con una ilusión. Tengo una ilusión. Uh, I can't wait. For example, my new car. Tengo un coche nuevo. Esta noche le voy a llevar por ahí por primera vez. I can't wait. Tengo unas ganas de que llegue el momento. I can't wait. I can't wait to go for a drive in my new car tonight. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Excited no es excitado, por cierto. Es emocionado. Se usa muchísimo en inglés. I'm so excited. Are, are you excited? ¿Estás emocionado? ¿Ilusionado? Are you excited? Wow, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I have a new car. Un bolido. Le voy a llevar por ahí. Yeah, I'm going to look for some girls along the way. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, estoy contando los minutos y las horas que pasan. I can't wait. It's a very common expression. I can't wait and I'm so excited are two very common. And to go for a drive, of course. Ir de paseo en coche. Salir de paseo. To go for a drive. <laughs> Bueno, hello and welcome to new class and a new day. Okay, let's look at our sentence. I can't wait to go for a drive in my new car tonight. I'm so excited. Me muero de ganas de dar una vuelta a mi coche nuevo esta noche. Estoy emocionada. 
Okay, estoy tan emocionado. So, the first part is I can't wait. Okay, I can't wait. Es me muero de ganas, right? Tengo muchísimas ganas. Literalmente en inglés decimos no puedo esperar. Okay, pero significa me muero de ganas o tener muchas ganas. Por ejemplo, the party is tomorrow. I can't wait. La fiesta es mañana. Ay, me muero de ganas. ¿Qué ganas tengo? My vacation starts soon. Right? Empieza mis vacaciones pronto. I, I can't wait. Now, si decimos la expresión I can't wait, más infinitivo, to y verbo. Por ejemplo, I can't wait to see you. Me muero de ganas de verte o tengo muchísimas ganas de verte. I can't wait to go to the beach. Me muero de ganas de ir a la playa. I can't wait to watch the sequel. Ah, la palabra del día. Sequel significa secuela. I can't wait to watch the sequel. I can't wait to go for a drive. I can't wait to go to the beach. Okay, see you. Oh, I'm so bored. No me he llegado un mensaje en mucho tiempo. Oh, tengo muchas ganas de ir de vacaciones. I can't wait to go on holidays. I can't wait. Eso. En inglés decimos tres palabras sencillas. I can't wait. Y siempre seguido del infinitivo con tú. I can't wait to go on holidays. Oh, I can't wait to go on holidays. Tomorrow, Zach, April, and I are going to Mount Everest. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to pack and go. And if I'm honest, I can't wait to see Zach. Oof, crystal ball. Zach or my boyfriend? Oh, there's a message. It says, oh, it says my boyfriend's going to be rich and famous. Oh, but Zach can't wait to see me. Oh, now I really can't wait to see him. <sighs> Bueno, welcome back. All right, let's take a look at the second part of our sentence for today. I can't wait to go for a drive in my new car tonight. I'm so excited. Me muero de ganas de dar un paseo en mi um, coche, dar una vuelta en mi coche a nuevo esta noche. Estoy tan emocionada. So, la expresión aquí es to go for a drive. Okay, dar una vuelta en el coche. To go for a drive. Por ejemplo, do you want to go for a drive tonight? ¿Quieres dar una vuelta en el coche esta noche? And ojo, remember, tonight is esta noche. We never say this night, okay? So ojo, resiste la tentación, sé que es muy fuerte, pero no decimos this night, decimos tonight para esta noche. He goes for a drive when the weather is nice. Él da una vuelta en su coche cuando hace buen tiempo. I usually go for a drive on weekends. Yo suelo dar una vuelta en el coche los fines de semana. Okay, so do you want to go for a drive tonight? ¿Quieres dar una vuelta en el coche esta noche? Do you want to go for a drive with me? ¿Quieres dar una vuelta en el coche conmigo? So repeat, to go for a drive. Dar una vuelta en el coche. Okay, go for a drive. Just two hours. Can't wait to go for a drive in my new car. Oh yeah, I've got a new car. Yeah, I've got a new car and I'm gonna drive in it tonight. It has a radio and air conditioning. Oh. Just two hours to go. I'm gonna go for a drive next to the beach because it has air conditioning, yeah. And I'm gonna put my music on with the windows down because it has a radio. I'm gonna go for a drive through the mountains with the radio down and the air conditioning on. <sighs> Just two hours to go. To go for a drive. Ir a dar un paseo. To go for a drive. Like me, I'm gonna go for a drive in my new car. Just one hour and 59 minutes to go. Well, I'm not expecting anyone. Go for a drive in my new car now. Mm -hmm. 
Bueno, ya estamos con la última parte. Ready? I can't wait to go for a drive in my new car tonight. I'm so excited. Me muero de ganas de dar una vuelta en mi coche nuevo esta noche. Estoy tan emocionada. So, the last part, I'm so excited. Repeat, I'm so excited. Okay? Aquí so es tan, tan. Okay? I'm so excited. Y excited, emocionada. No decimos exciting. Okay? So, something is exciting. Right? The movie is exciting, but I'm excited. Okay, estoy emocionada. Ojo, very important. Por ejemplo, I'm excited you're here. Estoy emocionada de que estés aquí. I'm excited you're here with me. I'm so excited that you're learning English. Right? Estoy tan emocionada de que estés aprendiendo el inglés, que estés mejorando tu inglés, that you're improving your English. Ah, oh, the sequel just came out. I'm so excited. So remember, sequel era la palabra del día. Significa secuela, ¿no? La secuela acaba de salir. Estoy tan emocionada. Okay? So repeat. I can't wait to go for a drive in my new car tonight. I'm so excited. Okay, see you soon. Hi. I'm so excited. Do you know what day it is? Today is my birthday. I'm so excited. Oh, happy birthday. Oh. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm going to have a party tonight. You should come. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Say it with me. I'm so excited. Oh, perfect. Are you coming to my party? Say, I'm excited to come to your party, April. Oh, perfect. Hmm. I'm going to buy a new birthday dress. Oh, I'm so excited. A new birthday shoes. Oh, I'm so excited. Hmm. A birthday cake. Everyone needs a birthday cake. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you excited? What are you excited about? The cake, the dress, the shoes? <laughs> oh, you're excited about the cake. Uh, okay. Oh, also, I think my husband is going to buy me a birthday car. I don't have a driver's license, but who cares? I'm so excited to drive it tonight. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> Hello. Okay, three points today. <laughs> three important points. Okay, to get a job, to get, el verbo es conseguir, it's the same in Spanish, basically. As in, to get a job. To apply for a job. In order to get a job, you need to apply for the job. But if you don't have the proper qualifications, if you're not qualified, well, there's no point in applying for a job because you won't get it. There's no point. It doesn't make any sense. It's a waste of time. It's pointless. There's no point means es inútil para acciones. Inutilidad para un objeto es useless. Okay? Una vieja batería es un inútil. An old battery is useless. But pointless, or there's no point, is cuando es inútil intentarlo. There's no point, or it's pointless. There's no point in applying for a job. If you're not qualified, you won't get it. There's no point. Don't you understand? There's no point. Hello and welcome to another exciting show for advanced level students. Now, there's no point in applying for that job. You won't get it. That means, not in a sentido, solicitar ese trabajo. No te lo van a dar. Vale. There's no point in doing something. Es nuestra forma de decir, pues no vale la pena. O no tiene sentido hacer algo. There's no point in watching this program if you're tired. There's no point in watching this program if you're not interested in English. There's no point. No tiene sentido. Vale? Está claro. There's no point in doing it. There's no point in going for a run every day if you don't want to. Okay, there's no point. There's no point in it. There's no point in doing it. El verbo simple ha de expresarse en ing, es decir, en gerundio, acabando en ing. De acuerdo. Bien. Me alegro mucho de que lo habéis entendido a la primera. Ya me tengo que ir porque se me va la voz. <laughs> See you soon. Hi, how are you? I'm going to call Felicity and I'm going to tell her how much I love her. But there's no point. 
There's no point in calling her because she doesn't care about me. No sirve de nada. There's no point. Es inútil. There's no point in calling her. There's no point in sending her a message. She just ignores me all the time. Eso es. Cuando decimos no sirve de nada hacer algo, decimos there's no point. There's no point in más el verbo ni en eje. There's no point in calling her. There's no point in sending her a message. She's not going to respond. Oh, man, there's no point in living. No, no, no. No, I have to be positive. I have to be positive. There's no point in being negative. There's no point in complaining. And there's no point in, in crying and being depressed. No, I'm going to be positive. That's right, I'm going to be positive. Welcome back. There's no point in speaking like this because I'm going to kill my voice. So let's get on with the second part in a normal voice. There's no point in applying for that job. No tiene sentido solicitar ese puesto de trabajo for that job. To apply for a job. When I left university, I applied for millions of jobs. Pues solicité miles o millones de, de trabajos. Okay, you, you apply for a job. I applied, applied, sería el pasado, pero se pronuncia applied, for hundreds of jobs. Okay, I applied for, for some good jobs, I applied for some bad jobs, I applied for any job, any job they would give me. So there's no point in applying, applying for that job. Why isn't there any point in applying for that job? There's no point in applying for that job because my CV isn't good enough. My CV, CV, Es nuestra forma de decir currículum, ¿ok? En inglés también decimos curriculum vitae, en, en latín, pero se suele abreviar a CV, ¿ok? Las, uh, las siglas, CV. So my CV isn't good enough. Esa es nuestra palabra del día, por cierto. Mi currículum no es lo suficientemente bueno. So I need to get a better CV before applying for that job. Oh. Ole! It's a great day in Spain, of course, but I just realized that I don't have any money left, so I need to apply for a job. So I'm just checking out some jobs here in the newspaper. You see, Harriet offered me a job, but I don't know. I have to think about it a bit, I guess. I'd like to apply for something different, I guess. Here it says there's a lawyer's job. I might apply for that job. A job in a law office. That could be good. By the way, we say to apply for a job. Not to a job, to apply for a job. Yeah, so here I might apply for this job. Oh, but it says I need experience. Oh, look, a job in the butchers. That could be good. I could apply for that job. But, oh, it's at the same time as I have my flamenco classes. I can't do that. Oh, maybe I could work as a taxi driver. I don't have a license. <sighs> I need to apply for a job. Bien, now we know. Ahora sabemos. There's no point in applying for that job. No sirve de nada solicitar ese trabajo. Fijaros, dos proposiciones en juego aquí. There's no point in... Luego le sigue un verbo expresado en el unido. There's no point in applying for that job. F applying for. To apply for is solicitar un trabajo. Okay, there's no point in applying for that job. You won't get it. Y aquí tenemos la tercera parte de nuestra frase de hoy. You won't get it. En inglés... Nosotros conseguimos trabajos, no nos, nos los suelen dar. Okay, they don't give us a job, we get the job. Or we don't get the job. Did you get the job? ¿Conseguiste el trabajo? ¿Te dieron el trabajo? No, I didn't get the job. Well, don't worry, I try and apply for some more. Ya yeah, sabes, intenta solicitar otros trabajos. So you need, what, if you want to apply for a job, what do you do? You have to send your, your qué? ¿Tu currículo como se decía en inglés? Eso es, your CV. You need to send your CV to apply for a job. And if you're lucky enough, y si tenéis la suerte suficiente, 
you'll get the job. Te darán el puesto. Eso es. Ojo, que decimos job y no job. ¿Ok? Job, un puesto de trabajo. Muy bien, sí, sí. No me moverán. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. Hey. Margaret, Margaret, I need to speak to you. Oh, please, no. I shall not be moved. Yeah, I know, but I need to speak to you about your job. Listen, if you're going to say that you're going to get my job, you won't get my job. No, I, it's not about me, Margaret. Please, tú en casa, dile que no. Tell him he's not going to get my job. That's it, Mike. You're not going to get Margaret's job. Hmm. I don't want to get your job. If you just let Look, me explain... No, no, no. Who... If you're going to say that Felicity's going to get my job, no way. She's too loud. No, I'm not going to say that Felicity is going to get your job. Oh, but oh, I just oh, need... oh, George? That George is going to get my job? George won't get my job. Margaret, Wayne has already got your job. Oh. Oh, well, no problem. I shall not be moved. <laughs>